Mother steals my inheritance to bail my brother out of jail. I think that needs to happen. How bad do you hate your brother? How much would you sell your brother out for? Ooh, see, now this is what I'm talking about. For free? For free. <laughs> wow, see, yeah. exactly. That's why yeah, you should yeah. do it. Like, it all you don't depends care on about your brother. Yeah, speaking of brothers' jails and finance, um, we have pay pigs on the episode today. Our brothers in podcasting. Truly our brothers in podcasting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the table. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, let's do it. I'm set to inherit a good portion of land, as is my entitled brother. The two properties are approximately the same size and have the same valuation. Entitled mother decided that it would be beneficial for everyone to go ahead and give us the properties so we could buy a home or whatever in order to get around the inheritance taxes and probate when she eventually passes. Fucking what a headache. I don't know. Being rich sounds like such a headache sometimes. They're like, I'm giving you this property. You have to sell it so then you can get your own house. It's like, Jesus you gotta, I know, dude. You gotta no, I think game. no taxes for the rich, honestly. Like they yeah. have enough yeah, to deal with you to manage all these properties. Yeah, I know. I think I think that's what we should do. More popular than Nancy Pelosi's breath. And Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> Is she dead? She's, She's dead, She's dead right? No, no, no Diane Feinstein. 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 Okay, okay. Right. She, I called her office once, but that's a Nancy story Pelosi or Feinstein. Day. What'd you say? Uh, Diane Feinstein. You're fine. I had some stupid idea of like I'm gonna build an app and change the world. And are you a programmer? It's okay. I don't want to. He had a phase in Silicon Valley. It's a long backstory. It was on like an ABC show. Another thing that's really important to me is the clothing industry. I don't know if entrepreneurship is the right thing for you. Oh, sick. I decided to list mine with a real estate agent in September of last year, talking about, I guess, his portion of the property. Trusting my mother to do the right thing, I didn't ask her to go ahead and deed everything over to me. I asked her to sign the paperwork and I was going to handle everything else. So here is what happened. Okay, so what he's a list, his mom still owns it, but is expecting that if it sells, she'll give him the money. I believe so. But nothing is in writing. Yeah. Yes. Great. He's completely trusting his own mom like a fucking An idiot. Idiot. Yeah, yeah. My entitled brother, there you go again, lives in jail. Not literally. <laughs> lives in jail. He lives in jail. <laughs> he just loves it there so much. It wouldn't leave. Never want to go. Okay, not literally, but he's there enough that all the detention officers know him well. Is he just coming by like what's up? Maybe he's like arrested for petty crime. Up, like, all maybe the he time. sounds like he sounds like one of those guys in a small town who always gets put in the drunk tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And then this oh, guy Bob, sounds like a narc. Again. Yeah. His brother sounds fun as hell, honestly. Yeah. 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 He can't leave the house without being charged with a felony, oh. all of which are valid charges. He's an unrepentant asshole and does not care about anything else. There is a long list of all the truly screwed up things that he's done, none of which I feel like rehashing, but rest assured that all the charges are born of a fatal combination of arrogance and stupidity. Nice. Wow. Sounds like he really loves his brother. Uh, I don't like this guy. <laughs> he, he's like, oh, it's a long laundry list of things he's done. Done. I don't want to get into it. it, but okay. Yeah, just say he's it? got a long rap sheet. No, period. but tell me what it is. I'm not going to just believe you. Sure. Laying down the law over here. Entitled mother continues to support, enable him. To her, my children are just the same in my eyes. Well, after we listed the property, he got in trouble again for what feels like the 457th time. What does she do because sweet baby boy can't possibly spend more time in jail? She signs a bond with the county because what bail bondsman would touch him? None. That's how many. Using all of her properties, including what's supposed to go to me and her own personal home <laughs> no, sorry, the collateral right. for the bail that doesn't yes. mean that, she, that, that he's losing it hey look yeah. it sounds like this still. guy's going away anyway. also your mom <clears throat> can decide whatever she wants because it is still her property right. she ain't dead yet pal well she if your mom be. has a hundred thousand dollars and is like i'm gonna give this to you as my inherit as your inheritance and you know what i'm gonna give it to you before i die and then decides you know what i'm gonna buy a porsche mm -hmm. what is he gonna be like my entitled mom wants a porsche <laughs> with my money that is still her money. Right. She that wants is to, still that her is house. Very accurate. Have you ever heard of counting your eggs before they're hatched? Truly, my hmm. good bitch, dude. <laughs> she never told me any of this. Yeah, because you don't deserve. Yes, yeah, none of your business. <laughs> So here I go, bebopping into what looks like a good future, never knowing that I'm engaging in criminal activity. Oops. <laughs> thinking that I'm going to buy my own home. Oops. No, I thought I didn't like him, and then he said bebopping, and now I really don't like him. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate his guts. The land sold. We are under contract with the buyer now. My family is working on what we assume to be our new house. She even helped clean it out, all while knowing all of this. Closing time comes. The lawyer runs a title check one more yes. time. One final itty weetsy time. And what does he find? The bond. Oh, no. Exposed. Okay. Exposed. So then what happened? They're screwed. So the buyer probably un wants to unwind the sale. So we have an update. 
right after this. Question and a prediction. Question, what do you think OP should do right now, given that his house he was just about to sell, and then what do you think is going to happen? OP should cry and, um, I don't know, kill everybody involved. <laughs> yeah. Just kill them all. So, the lawyer finds out and tells me, Cue multiple frantic phone calls between me, the lawyer, my real estate agent, and my mother. Turns out she signed the bond in December after the property was listed in good faith. So that means at the least by me has... committing fraud. So the mom's in trouble. I've been told outright, poorly executed lies. Lies in which she always gets caught. She told me that she didn't realize that mine was included in the bond, meaning my property. Then she says that she didn't realize that the land would sell so fast, so she had until August, his newest court date, to have it figured out. So she, she, was, she was running on some dicey ground. Yes. In yeah. her defense, it is a bad time to buy. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Interest rate's crazy right now. <laughs> She always trips herself up. She tells me a convoluted, complicated lie about contacting her lawyer and a bail bondsman and how it will all work out just fine and in time for the closing. She says he's going to surrender himself. Her brother. The, brother. Her, the, brother. Yeah. the fun brother. I think so. Oh, God. Did, it's he, gotta be. did he skip out on bail? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hope so. He might have skipped out on this bail. This guy's down in Mexico. So he's... <laughs> Fuck yes. He is like so. I he wasn't guy. going to surrender himself. That sounds like he wasn't going to yeah, surrender so himself. Now the house is. So now she's like, no, no, don't worry. He'll surrender the himself only because I put up the bail. She says a lot of things. All lies. I can't trust her as far as I can throw her. I know this. Don't now. throw your mom. <laughs> yeah, that's even if she does this to you. Disclaimer: Don't throw your mom. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Actually, so here we are. The land is still under contract. The buyers are having some trouble with their mortgage. Thank God. My brother is still free, and she is going to lose her house all because of this total piece of garbage who couldn't care less about any of this. All he cares about is getting high. Oh, uh, drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs. I will say he did a really poor job of explaining. Like, put this, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and be like, oh, shit, these are bad. But he was just like, ah, he's like in and out of jail. I'll it's like, what does say, that mean? To you? He's yeah. been in jail a lot of times. Yeah, it's yeah. like, what are you I talking? I won't get about? into the details, <laughs> the hurdy gurdy details. But gee, Willie, my brother sure is trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I told her some casual Google-related research that I've done. She knew that the buyers could sue her for breach of contract, but she didn't realize that felony criminal charges could be filed against her for fraud, given the value of the property. Now she's scared and is actually doing something when it's her own hide on the line. Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. It's the not knowing that is killing me. Is now this person have... asking on this thread for advice, or is this just a vent? I, I think, think it's, it's a vent. It's, it's both. Uh, I think it's, it's a little bold. bit of both. I waited to do another update until I had something really good, and whoo boy, do I have a good one. Friday evening, I realized that I hadn't heard from Entitled Mother since Thursday morning, so I tried to give her a call. Given her age and medical problems, I try to check on her as much as I can, but Friday, she never answered or called me back. I called her all day Saturday. She didn't answer or call back. I dropped by her house. Nobody was home, but the door was unlocked. I thought that she had just stepped out to go to the store, so I left her a note and took the kid to the movies, and here is where it gets interesting. I had a message waiting from one person that I didn't even know existed, much less interact with. The message basically said, your mom and brother are in a jail in a faraway Holy county. Shit. Her bond is 75 grand, and his bond, a million. Yes. I flipped out. No way do I have the 10% required for a bondsman for her. He can ride in there as far as I'm concerned, but an elderly woman with huge medical problems I who is- I was gonna say huge boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but my mom with those huge knockers. But an elderly, elderly woman <laughs> with huge boobs. <laughs> who has never spent time in jail doesn't need to be there. She never called me herself. I want to emphasize, it took a random stranger to tell me. So basically it sounds like OP is saying, his mom was ready to just go down and just like bug it out herself. And so he's now finding out from a third party. He's like, all right, I'm going to. Why don't you think she called? I also, I really appreciate right huge boobs got in the way of her <laughs> pressing the <laughs> phone. The <laughs> so I spent Saturday calling the jail to make sure that she had her meds. I was feeding her dogs and locking down her house to make sure that none of Entitled Brother's friends came around to not rob her blind. When I went to do the lockdown, there was a man there, a man with a really bad oh. mouth. What? <laughs> <laughs> he must have been a potty mouth, this guy. A man with a really bad yeah. mouth? He was saying, Hey, he probably said, hey, motherfucker, this and that, you know? 
Or maybe he's just like slightly disfigured. Yeah, a guy with a real <laughs> ugly mouth, if I do say so myself. Yeah. A man who had been living in her basement. Very, what is going on? Oh. She might have been subletting or, or renting out of the basement. <laughs> She's very naive, and with anyone else besides those in her family, especially those she deems unfortunate, she, quote unquote, help. This guy started promising that he would help her out and watch the place to make sure nobody came around. Um, I wanted to believe him because holy cow does she have a lot of animals and lord knows I can't just oh, sit Jesus. there to make sure that her property is How safe. How many animals yeah, are we talking I'm about? I'm gonna need specifics on that. Yeah. But as my wonderful husband pointed out. Oh, this is a woman. Jeez, man. <laughs> hey, we don't know that. Is that we don't know that. Stop assuming oh, right. genders. <laughs> Stop assuming. We, usually we get age and gender, but this is a very rare story where yeah. we don't get that. Yeah, okay. Front. So we're not sure Okay, it could be a gay gentleman, could be a woman. Indeed. Yes. But as Wonderful Husband pointed out, anyone who has anything to do with Entitled Brother is probably no good. Yesterday afternoon, my husband and I go to her house and we caught three friends scaling her fence, intending to go up her very long, very steep driveway on foot because her gate was closed and locked. We ran them off. It wasn't pretty, but I've lost every ounce of patience with these people. We do what needs to be done. It sounds like they live on the frontier. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they're like, like fending away like, all these bandits. <laughs> Yeah, trying like, to rob them blind. They've got a little bit of wealth and everyone's just trying to get in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> Is this Batman's real origin story where he's like, I gotta become a thug badass beating the shit Did you hear the, the old lady got arrested? We can break in and... Yeah. <laughs> His parents are still alive. He's just breaking them out of the clink. It sounds like somewhere in the Midwest or the Ozarks or just the... Yeah, de- Ozarks. These, are, these are desert people. We, yeah, we yeah. ran them off, but it was tough work. Yeah, I had to do it. Yeah, I knew what every pitchfork and shotgun in the house. Right. Upon getting home, I called the sheriff's office on emergency line to explain the situation to them and ask that they step up patrols on her street. I should have called 911 when I saw those people, but I didn't, hindsight and all. They were already aware of the situation as they're familiar with Entitled Brother and his ways and agreed to drive by a couple more times. I also described the people and their vehicle just in case. After about two hours later, I received a text. They've just arrested five people at your mom's house. What is going on? Does this (laughs) have five people? Where do they live? I mean, everyone's trying to get a piece of that mom. You're responsible for the bail, OP. (laughs) Also, is the brother like sending word to people? Like, yeah, he hit the group chat. Go hit the big, like the 30 person group chat. Go get the China. Go get the off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Okay. It's a very small town and everybody knows everybody else's business. So it didn't take long for that information to reach me that's as much as i know for now i'm sure there's more mess that will happen today so i will post again after work and there is and we're getting more mess i I have to say they they might be doing this person a favor i would not want to own property in this town it sounds like you need to constantly be uh patrolling (laughs) patrolling your fucking property security team is constantly on patrol if you leave for more than a day you got five guys scaling your walls four watchtowers on every corner of the property and if your mom's got boobs that are bigger than normal (laughs) You gotta like yeah. protect her yeah, honor. You got some guy she keeps in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am struggling with the decision I have to make. Do I get her out or do I leave her there to teach her a lesson? Wow. <laughs> what a like struggle. That. She's not like gonna that. learn at this she's point. She's too old. <laughs> yeah. She says old dog new tricks. Old dog new tricks. <laughs> On the one hand, there's the fact that she's elderly, has medical problems, and has never spent a night in jail before now. She's been to jail for him before, but never overnight. On the other hand, she's really, really messed up for a truly messed up reason that was of her own making. This was of her own making, and she would do it again if she could. My aunt, uncles, all of whom are awesome, are also sick of her shit. So everyone's like, leave her in prison? Yeah, but these people are probably, they're probably, they probably want her in there so that they can break in the house. And yeah, take all and this steal. Shit. I think I should leave her so she'll learn the lesson, but I'm feeling some guilt. I've raised the money by selling some stock that I had and raiding our savings, but I don't know if I should do it. Nobody else would give us anything given her track record with him. For all I know, this experience will make her feel even more sorry for him since she knows firsthand how much a 22 hour lockdown sucks now. For all I know, again, she's going to go to one of Entitled Brothers friends and make some sort of horrible deal to get the money. She chauffeured him to a good deal of his purchases and knows where all of them live. I realize that scenario is bordering on paranoid, but y'all don't realize the lengths that she has gone to in the past and I would not put it past her. Think of the most ridiculous situation you can possibly imagine and that is totally (laughs) what she would do. So, what should I do? Bond her or leave her in jail. I get it. Uh, so you bond her under a stipulation. You tell her like, if if I if I put up this money, you have to be a good mom. 
you got to be good. And also, to the, end, to the to the end that Not this person mommy. is saying, oh, uh, she's in jail, and that's going to make her feel even more sorry for her son. To because oh, I've seen what it's like now in jail. Oh, it's so awful. No, I think to the contrary. I'd be like, if I were the mom and I'm in jail for 22 hours, and I'm thinking this is fucking awful. Holy shit. I would want to avoid this at all costs for the rest of my life. If my son doesn't have that mechanism, he's probably broken. And so I'm an idiot. I'm a sucker for having put up with this, sh- this behavior for so long. I but think it's 22 hours enough, you know, mm-hmm. like, like, I mean, she's really old lady. Good. Yeah, she's she's old lady. she thinks, yeah. she thinks that she's going to, so she has this like sense of hopelessness, I guess. And then, you come in and you save the day. Twenty-two hours in old lady years. I agree with Ben, but you also days. you also have to stipulate to the mom. You have to set the we're, boundary. We're, we're we're cutting off brother because he's. Yeah. I mean, he's just not going to learn. Ooh, I put up the bond money. You give me everything. Mm. <laughs> I manage the wealth. Well, that actually I manage might, the wealth. I manage, I manage the, wealth. the wealth. That actually might be what is best. All of that extra money and shit was superfluous. It was extra. It was <laughs> yes. cream on right. top. Yes. yes. Like, don't act like you're entitled. You want to talk entitled. Right. <laughs> yes. I think OP was entitled. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I think everybody's entitled. Think, like, should I leave my mom in jail to teach her a lesson? I, that's crazy. <laughs> to teach her a lesson yeah. about not fucking up my inheritance. Yeah, the one who was going to give you a bunch of money. Christ on the cross. Oh my God. I do, this mom does need to be put in check. Like, yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. A little check. She's going to ruin her own finances and, yeah. and everything, but God damn, I don't know. That's yeah. Too cruel. There's a way to, there's a way to get this all in order with us. There is. Yeah. I like the bond. The stern talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also bondage. I'm sure we've all heard stories about American prisons. It's not nice. It's not pretty. Not fun. <laughs> that, yeah, that, there's a difference between jail and prison. That's true. But who knows about this small town? I, I, yeah. I wouldn't leave my mom in jail. That's, yeah, that's me it too. for me. Uh, me either. Unless she did something really bad, then I'd be like, mom, I don't know, man. Got to learn a lesson. What, what was you your stole mom? A, you stole yeah, a what's bus. What's the line? What's yeah, the line? What would your mom have? To, if your mom stole a bus? Yeah, if she stole a bus. Stole I'd a be bus, like, mom. What's going on, bro? I would give my mom money for stealing yeah, a bus. Yeah, if my mom nah, stole like, a bus, I'd that's be kind of like, sick. sick. Yeah, it I think is. If my but mom it's killed also... someone, then I would be like, come on. What would you guys do? Let us know. Put it in the comments. All right, let's get into this next story. Let's do it. I inherited $200,000, and I'm not going to tell my husband for a good reason. My partner, 31 male, and I, oh, 25 female. This is so nice. Yeah, look, we got the genders. 31 we got the male, ages, 20... 25 female, are having our second child, and he hasn't been working due to an in-work injury. So for the last two, going on three months, it's been very stressful for us. My parental or my paternal aunt gave me half of what she got from selling my grandma's house, her mother. And she inherited it last year due to my grandmother passing away. And she spent six months getting my moochers of a father and brother out of the house and fixing it up. We haven't spoken since the funeral. And last week she called to meet for lunch. And when I went, she handed me a check worth over $200,000. That's, so so that's the aunt. That's the aunt. You go to lunch, just get banked up. Come on, Bam. dude. Would have been even sicker aunt. in a briefcase. Yeah, just come like, on. I'd Take be ordering the cash. salmon for sure. <laughs> yeah. that Are you guys like, that close uh, to your aunts? Like, nah. I'm I'm pretty close with my aunt. My aunts hate my. I didn't understand, but she said my grandma thought of me as a daughter, and I was the only one other than her that took care of her and my grandpa. And while they didn't have the money to give me, she sold the house. And after talking to her husband, decided I deserved half of it. So dude, fuck that's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. Yes, what a great aunt. I love this. Yeah. Aunt. No. Aunt. Aunt. My hormones were everywhere. Oh, what? yeah. She's, well, she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And she had to I help forgot me. that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Does that happen? This, this money become a hormone. Don't correct. 80% female audience. Yeah. Where are your hormones? Yeah. I got nervous that if I ever came into money, my hormones were going to fail. It's 11 p.m. Do you know where your hormones are? And my hormones were everywhere. And she had to help me calm down because we were in so much debt. And I oh. felt so thankful. So this is changing Opie's life. This is just a feel-good story. I really like <laughs> oh. it. No, it's, it's oh, going to feel Bad. Oh, You're gonna feel yeah. really bad. I'm curious no. why she's Enjoy it. not telling the husband. Her baby that. has a dr- problem. <laughs> <laughs> Addicted to just, <laughs> She told me she wasn't giving anything to anyone else and would prefer for me not to tell anyone. 200K. I put it in my account, and once it cleared, I began slowly paying off my husband and my debt. I paid people back that had loaned us money, cleared our credit cards, paid our car off, put 10K in our daughter's saving account, and plan to make one for our second child when it's born. This is huge. This I is love huge. This. I didn't tell my husband because we have separate finances and have since we got together. Well, then how do they have shared debt? What is she talking about? Well, I guess maybe a shared hmm. credit card. That yeah, they maybe. Together. But m- mostly separate finances. So I guess she can set up like <clears throat> all these banks, accounts. Yeah, separate loans banks. together, maybe? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that, oh, that maybe makes a sense. mortgage. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. credit cards. Their name. But he's gonna find out, right? Like, there's no way she's paying all of this stuff off. Also, you wouldn't. Together. You wouldn't want your partner to be visibly suffering and just. If you've ever been in debt, um, it feels terrible, or yeah, like, like it feels like stairs. every day you've got this weight on your shoulders. Yeah, it feels like you're easing, slipping down your shoulders. She's easing the burden. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't know that the burden is easing. As far as I know, does he know? He I don't doesn't know. know, and he shouldn't know based on what the aunt said yeah. that the stipulations were. Mm. He doesn't even know what our debts were or how far behind we were. So I didn't think he would notice, but he watches his credit. And when he says that it went up and that I had received a letter from my community college that my debt was paid, he asked me. I told him my aunt gave me money, but not how much. And he tried accessing my bank account when he couldn't get in. He took my debit card without me knowing and went to an ATM and then saw the balance. That's... Yeah, what do we think about that? So Boys. he knows the aunt gave him money. She wouldn't tell him. Yep, the amount. She fucking. He took his. He took her cards. Took her cards after trying to get in, like log into, log her into bank the bank account, account and not being swipe one of the that. cards. That that's a red flag. He yelled at me for hiding it. I told him it doesn't matter because we were no longer in debt and we could finish our degrees. And then he walked out and hasn't spoken to me in three days. I requested a new debit card and changed my information regarding my account because now I don't trust him not to try and buy something and the marriage is eroding right before our eyes. Yeah, this yeah. is when you get into like poisoning the well situation. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. How you do you come back from this shit? Talk I, to him. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I admit I should have told him, but it's not like he knows how much money I make from my job. So there's a lot of questions and comments. I need to answer some of them. So one, he doesn't like my family at all. Oh God. Another fucking red flag. Yeah. I met him when I was a kid because he was my oh. older brother's best friend. No. You're Things out. changed when we got together when I was 19 Aye. and they don't speak anymore. He avoids anything to do with my family. How so old was he when he, how was, he was 26. That's the question. 31 so and 25? he's six years older. He's 25. So he, they've been he's kind of like... yeah. Ew, but he also like knew her when... Bit of a grooming situation. Well, yeah. Uh, a, a, little, a, little, a little groomy. A little, a little groomy. No wedding. A little groomy. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think this is groomy? Put your answer <laughs> in the comments. Um, two, most of a relationship is great. We agreed to have one kid because I dreamed of being a mom. But during the pregnancy, he treated me like crap. No! And even after our daughter was born, he continuously made me feel like a bad mom for asking him for help when I was exhausted. And he just wanted to play games or drink <laughs> play games play games okay yeah i'm gonna have to go with that chant he only started helping and being supportive after being separated for a few months and us getting counseling 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 he and my daughter both have my last name i wanted joint finances when we got married and he didn't i was only in debt of 5k from my college at the time and he had some but he told me he had it covered which i found out he in fact did not five what i meant about him not knowing how much in debt we were is that he'd open credit cards in both our names holy shit. and max them out and then when Dude. we couldn't use them anymore he'd apply for more i did not know this until hiring a firm to help get my credit up they told me i could press charge or pay them off. Oh. I wanted to pay it off because he's my husband. Dude. And even if he put us in debt, I do love him. It gets worse. Yeah. It no. gets worse. Yeah, it's Six. not uphill from here. We didn't want more children. He got into a fight with his sister and she did something she shouldn't have, but he also refused to get snipped. Yeah, we didn't find out I was pregnant until it was too late for another option. Oh, so pregnant with child number two. Pregnant. So they didn't want- It's accidental. Two. Yeah, accidental. Okay. They hate this kid. They hate <laughs> this baby. Seven, we moved in with my mom to help us get things back on track, and he got hurt at work. Yes, I believe he is depressed, but he's also blown all the money he had saved on video games, liquor, Dude. and pot. He didn't spend a dime on any of the debt he caused or for our daughter. He makes more than I do, but with the way he spends it, it's like we live on one income. Ooh, Babu, this guy needs this to is be my... beaten up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. I mean, we... Hey, we got he four podcasts to... hosts right here. Knuckle sandwich. Yeah. We're all pretty brolic here. Yeah. I think we I could, just, I could just yell at him. That's yeah, about yeah, I, all yeah, I could. Yeah, these yeah. are could direct him, these dude. are so difficult because, uh, I, I like it's so clear. It's like you need to fucking leave. I don't understand. Like, what is the advice? You need to See, get the fuck. The out thing of is, here. with a lot of these stories, it's kind of just like once they put it all on paper and they get like a few gut checks, right, right, they're yeah. out of the reality distortion field. Because then they're like, they're probably like as she's writing this, she's probably realizing like. 
oh fuck, like, yeah, this is bad. Sure. She this might not have bad. told anyone ever. Anything. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. like yeah, you can be honest on the internet, which is kind of like I do in almost every way I can, except for money. And he's proven that again and again. I also have him giving him small portions of the money so he can still go and do things he wants to do. It's not like I'm just hoarding it away from him. I just didn't tell him that it wasn't from my paychecks like he assumed. Nine, he has the pins to my debit card because while I didn't tell him about the money, I do let him use it when he needs to. And we're going to go into the comments and a juicy, juicy update. But um, I want to hear from you guys. Like, what do you think so far? Are we in divorce yeah, I'm territory? I'm so stressed out. I like. I want her to leave. I really. I want her to leave. She, she sounds too. so sweet. Yeah, she does sound really sweet. She and cares just about like her kids. The, but also, I don't know. She needs to like. It scares me that she got married when she was 19, and like maybe she doesn't have a big support group of people. I think they got together. When, yeah, I don't think they got married. I don't think she got, got, I think, got married. I think, I think, like, this, like, when, when, with the dude, when she, like, turned 19, he's like, all right, right. now yeah. it's time. Okay. But either way, like, I think, yeah, she needs friends being like, oh, this is not right. Or this internet is... strangers. Or, or this, internet or strangers. Or this podcast yes, right yes, here. Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is it, honey. The fact that she's saying stuff like, I still trust him, it's like, he he continuously took out credit cards in your name and was just running them up and then would be like, oh, sorry, just going to keep doing it. And she's like, I trust him in every way except financially. Yeah. I, we, we all want what's best for you here. <laughs> yeah, we all, we, this, this is a yeah. safe space and this guy is a dick and yeah. you need to leave. He sucks. He sucks. And you are better than that. Not you. And you're really hot. <laughs> OP, you're so good looking. All right, we're, you we're, wear we're. that baby bump so well. You're glowing, sweetie. You're glowing. You sound like you want $200,000. Oh, no, 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 no. You sound like you want to split finances and be equitable. Me? No. Couldn't be me. No. But if good. you're out there and you're watching... Leave him <laughs> for me. Don't come Case to closed. me. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm taken. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> with this bit. He hit his so head. he hit his. Head. I hit my head in the comments. I've tried multiple different birth controls and the side effects make it difficult. However, my doctor and I have decided to tie my tubes because I've had multiple miscarriages and high risk pregnancies. I didn't plan to have any more kids, but his sister poked. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. What? Who is this? This is this this is the OP. Com this is oh, OP, I but it's in the comments. Comment. It's a reply yeah. to the yeah. comments. Got it, got it, got it. Oh my god, guys! But my sister, what? His sister. But his sister poked holes in our condoms, and by what? the time we found out I was pregnant, we couldn't get an abortion in our state. So due to be do it to be being oh my god due to it being past six weeks. What is going on? Her what? This whole fuck? family. She needs to get away. Oh my! Why God. does the sister have access to the condoms? A. What does the this sister have sister to gain? Maybe she's as sick, twisted, and I mean, what the crazy fuck? as the as the guy? This sounds like a terrible family to be a part of. Yeah, you don't say. So someone else asked in the comments uh, if they are still co in contact with the sister-in-law. And they said, no, we cut contact when we discovered I was pregnant. We told his family and she just laughed and threw it in our faces that she had the upper hand. We haven't spoke to her since we found out six months ago. Okay, so the brother was pissed as well. The brother was or, pissed or the as well. Husband the was husband was Yeah, the husband well. was pissed as well. Whoa, what the? But what? Is I've got the upper hand. <laughs> I mean. You're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what up her hand. Maybe <laughs> she wants to adopt the kid. Maybe she can't have kids I mean, herself, and yeah, she's what like, "What did you get from me?" <laughs> Another they kid. Haven't spoken to her in seven months. Shit. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if this is how you update, but I figured I would go ahead and try. Over the last three days, I've spoken to my mom and my in-laws. My husband reached out to her that he didn't want to be with me anymore. The but husband it, doesn't want to be with her anymore. The husband doesn't want to be with her Fine, anymore. Good riddance. Don't, before you, I mean, what the. F but it wasn't because of the money. It was because he felt forced to get married and have a baby, even though we got pregnant with the second one okay. because of his sister. And he still blames me. Cool. This guy is such a sack of shit. So, so what? Good riddance. He to bad blames rubbish. her when his fucking <laughs> sister. So what? You're bigger than that. You're better than that, sister. Get out of there. Six years together and felt like he refused to even talk about it. So he's not even talking to her anymore. Even when we were in counseling, I asked his mom what he wanted to do because he wasn't answering my phone calls or messages. And she said she sent him money for a plane ticket so he could go to her. Going right back to mommy. I am heartbroken that she didn't tell him or try harder for the kid. After all, his dad left him and his siblings. But I can't force him to stay and I have to think about them right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I spoke to a lawyer 
lawyer my friend used for his divorce yesterday, and he's going to help me draw up a divorce plan. He said my husband can go after the money, but he doesn't think he will. I'm filing for full custody and will be asking for a minimum in child support unless he wants to sign his rights over. I'm done being stupid and thinking he would grow up. I packed his things and hired a moving company to take them to his mom's house so all of his stuff will be gone in a few days. My first clue he didn't want our daughter was that she was not even crying asking where he is. She's just running around with me and my mom. I did send him a little bit of money for his travels and told his Why? mom I'll send it a divorce paper as soon as I get them. What the fuck? Because she's an angel. <laughs> she's truly she's an, an angel. angel. This she's woman is she's, fucking... she is the sweetest person ever. Oh my God. She told me okay and hung up. So that's what's been happening the last few days. Haven't spoken to my soon-to-be ex-husband, and I am now fully on my own the first time since I was 19. I'm hoping everything goes good. Hopefully, I don't have to update again. Damn. Two kids, a husband's And that's gone. the end. And that's the end. That's the end. But no debt. I thought you were taking that out to wipe away a tear. No, no, I... My... <laughs> the hell was that? I was trying to clean. <laughs> I, my teeth feel gross. And I was like, oh, I should just like give them a just quick do wipe. Through. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, I've yeah. done that on before. On camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Editor, zoom in on that. Yeah, yeah. Really zoom in on his little little toothpick. God, this one's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. No, well, but it has a happy ending. I think, Does it? Well, yeah. I mean, so she's this, divorced with she two doesn't kids. Want it. She doesn't want him anymore. The silver she's lining. Off. Is it like exposed everything, right? Yeah. Because sure. it seems like before she was almost completely oblivious and yeah. just letting him get him away with the most heinous BS right, right. of all time. So the the not only did the money come in and like obviously give her financial stability, but also it just happened to like set off this like nuclear chain reactor that exposed yeah. the husband. Because he was a dick beforehand. Oh yeah. Like he was a massive the whole asshole. Time. Yeah, the whole yeah. time. The whole time. So now like maybe she's can find a better relationship. Oh yeah, she's gonna be fine. She's gonna my be mom fine. met awesome. my dad. She was twice divorced, had two kids, and she was like thirty three. Your mom was twice divorced and had two kids when from each was, marriage, or two different marriages. Whoa! So you're yeah. telling me your mom was married twice, and this man right here has not been married one single time. <laughs> this is I know, insane! It's pathetic. Wow. I can't believe that, dude. <laughs> oh gosh! No kids, <laughs> single or not married? You know? Wow! Well, is that single? Yeah, that's true. In the, in the eyes of the law. In the eyes of the law. <laughs> How many times have you been married? Uh, oh. A couple times. You've been married. Yeah, a I've been of... married a couple times. Oh, wow. About seventeen, first seven times. Seven. So. Di- that's a red <laughs> <Seven>. flag. <laughs> <laughs> we went all the way back over. Ben thinks the more you've been married, the more emotionally healthy you are. I've been married nine times. Yeah, it's fine. You don't think I know a thing or two about relationships? No, I haven't been married a time, a single time. Yeah. Haven't even been engaged. Red flag. So what? Yeah, it's red. Some people like that color. <laughs> <laughs> Some people's favorite color. How long so, have you been in a relationship? Are the you longest a relationship? relationship I've been. Are you in a relationship? Right I now? am. Yeah. How long? It's has been, been a little over six months. Okay. So yeah. when are you gonna propose? <laughs> Fair. Uh, <laughs> I, at least, yeah. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Right? What are you waiting for? At, at least, at least another six months. <laughs> you can't propose b- before six months. You got to do. Is at that least true? A year. I don't know. I the Mormons. So. My parents are nine early. months. Yeah. They're nine months. <laughs> no, no, no. I will tell you this. No, don't tell me shit. When I <laughs> well, then I'll tell them. Okay. When I get you married, haven't been married. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing, the ceremony. It oh, just I'm makes not, it really. just. Pisses I want to go down to the courthouse. It. We do you have a go to lot a of stories that you know. Weddings are a. Breeding do you think it, your 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 partner is on on board with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Courthouse. Just marriage. like have a party somewhere. I definitely. If I was gonna get married, I would definitely just like go down to the courthouse and and get it. You know. Get it taken care it of. He'd go yeah. down there with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it gonna be? <laughs> you, you. <laughs> you're a pretty cute clerk. Come on, and sign your own marriage certificate. I could see, I could see planning like a, a little thing later, but without the pressure too. That's the thing. It's like you know the the whole uh, marriage industrial complex. It's like, dude, uh, we uh, live in a society. Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, but like that's the thing too. You know, people get engaged and then it's like the clock starts ticking. It's like, well, we don't want a long engagement and we need to start planning and and it's just as so i could see like getting married and be like great it's done you know we can have the yeah. tax benefits and everything and then whenever we want to do something we can invite everyone to do it we don't yeah. have to start being like calling venues and it's just, do you feel any sort of pressure either of you on that to get married yeah no none no no uh, sick Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a question to close it out so now that op single has 
let's call it maybe 150 ish, some somewhere around there, a, a lot of money, more money than she had. What should she do with the money now to help secure her and her children's future in your guys' professional? Yeah, professional pay pigs. Well, opinion. first of all, we're not we're not professionals. We're not. Uh, we're sure. not even finance guys. We like. We have a show where we make fun of the finance world. <laughs> that, yeah, and, fair. And fair. So, no, no. But just to, to caveat that. But and if you like that kind of thing, come join us where we uh, we have a comedy show. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You can, pay off all your debt first. Yeah, get rid of all that debt. Mm-hmm. I would say instead of here's what you should do. Some of the things you shouldn't do. And this is just, I mean, I'm living proof because I never do it. Uh, don't buy any new car. She sounds smart enough to not do yeah, it. Yeah, she so does like sound not good. buy a f- new car, nothing flashy. Uh, don't live beyond your means. Put it, that money. I would put that money in like index funds. Yep. Yeah, she was already doing it, right? She like set up her kid and her future kid savings accounts, uh, was immediately like paying off debt. It doesn't sound like she bought like one high ticket item yeah it's like do that shit yeah and now there's like high yield savings accounts she can put it in uh she could also just give it to me yeah i'd that's take one it. Way to do it yeah some might say that that's a smart i mean i would give her stock in me mm, i would yeah. also say take your time in dating it sounds like maybe yeah. you need to really uh, i think she see will. what's yeah. out there after this because she will. uh because her biggest financial problem seemed to be this, this husband yeah jackass yeah you know she seems like she's got a head on her shoulders so I would say it's a big wide world out there. Find someone you fit with, you know, with uh, similar values, similar goals. I think that is a beautiful place to end. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. If you guys uh, want to check out these beautiful gentlemen, you should go to Pay Pigs wherever uh, you know wherever on you YouTube. Yeah, search, on, check out the you below. Hey, search for Pay Pigs Pod. Uh, Pay Pigs is two separate words, and yeah, you you'll find us. Huge. It's a fun show. Come join us. We like it. Bam.